What's going on everyone, my name is Boyd, and I'm back with some more Age of Titans actions. Spawning in the bottom of the map, in the blue color, playing Zeus, he is the mister. His opponent today, also playing Zeus, is TSM player. Um, I'm really excited about this game, I just saw it on RTS Sanctuary. Um, and basically these two players, uh, especially TSM player, um, they're really... TSM player has been one of the up and coming players for quite some time, picking off people like Army Corps, Hells, he's... He's just been doing it all. Um, people can argue that it's because Zeus is really powerful or whatever, but I think I think it's just because he's a really good player. Um, and I'm just interested to see how he fares against this this new face, the Mister. Um, especially in the Zeus vs Zeus matchup, there's no there's no reason for anything to be um, anything to blame it on imbalance. You just can't do it, except for on the map. But you can do that anytime you like. We are in a trade here, seeing a mirror matchup, and um, I'm just going to be interested to see how these both, how both these players choose to play this game, because Ross is here. it's honestly the, the the matchup has about three or four ways that you can actually play this matchup. Um, Hermes with Centaur style, a Hoplite Toxic Athena Rush sort of style, um, a Hippicon. Uh, Athena style and a Hippicon um, Toxito sort of Athena um, or Hermes style. Etimi. Either way works really well depending on the map and it depends on what you're given. Now, this map I'm going to just go through ways to cancel out what sort of strats in my opinion don't really work that well but they still work well in some regards. So I'm going to go through them. we got the Athena Rush. Now there's low hunt on this map. You can argue, oh, they got they got giraffe. It's a fair bit of hunt. No, it's not. There's not enough hunt to uh, effectively a thing rush. There is a lot of goats though, so you might be able to get away with it for a little while, but then you're gonna really fall off. And unless you don't win, it's it's pretty all in, really. Um, so Hermes, Hermes sort of stuff uh, with with centaurs. Now over here we see two choke points on this side, so her centaurs are never gonna run through ra raid through here set up an Odysseus right here, wall off over here, or just wall with buildings and a wall, and never going to get raided, never going to die. Um, just over here on the same side, never going to get raided. There are three choke points, really small choke point, choke point, and this choke point over here. Put, a, put an Odysseus over here, or wall that off, put Odysseus there. Never going to get raided, not even a problem. Ladies. So, um, but granted, that being granted, this is low hunt. So the centaurs with the high wood count mean that you... Um, you can transition really easily into farms and get your economy rolling. So it's not really all about the the picking off um, villages. It's the pressure on the map, making sure your opponent can't leave his base, uh, things like that. If you can pick up a couple of villages with the centaur strat on this map, then it's it's effective. Uh, that being said, I, I really think that the best sort of style here um, would be an Athena Hippocon Toxito style because because um, not only does it transition well into farms, because uh, you're going to have to gather that wood for those Toxicos, but also you have all of this goat, all of this goat just chilling here. Um, and eating it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to give you enough food for the cavalry, um, and it's going to sustain you enough until you can Frost get those farms out there out of the heroic age, and you're going to be able to put more pressure on, and that's what it really, really all is about. So, I'd be interested to see Lager. exactly what both these players do. Um, to be Frost honest, Lager. I see both these players going Hermes with centaurs all the time, so I'm like, I, I understand that you got to play to the map, and you got to play to, you gotta play to these strengths as well. If you don't play um, Hippicon and um, Toxito style a lot with Athena, then you probably shouldn't do it. Um, but granted, her, her, I, ne I never said Hermes can't work, I said it's probably not the best choice, it can work, especially, as I said before, with how resources work. Now we can see both players doing exactly the same build, um, they went 5 food, 3 wood, 3 gold, um, they dropped the temple, Brosse throwing 2 here. villages onto that temple, um, and then Brosse throwing a bunch Brosse. of villages onto wood, you can see a little bit different in terms of going to the classical age. TSM player also going through Hermes. Um, we can see 10 villages on wood for the um, the Mister. And player has eight. Funnily enough, Mister has less wood at the moment. But what can you do? We see Mister doing a little bit of a wood trick here. Uh, if you throw up two storehouses, like 
really close to each other, that means they're going to have less walking time, and you're going to pay that storehouse off really quickly. The amount, the less walking time you do, the more resources you gather. The fact that you spent 50 um, wood on this means you're going to have that maybe 100, 150, 200 wood, maybe even extra in a minute or so before um, the before the all these trees sort of die off. Um, it's j it's really smart, and people need to start doing a little bit more when they see that opportunity. Um, so we see the first centaur is popping out. Mister is wait, let me click on the Mister. He's building his centaur. You see the two centaur are out for the Mister now. Lege. We have to Lege. be aware that um, of Lege. the fact that both of these have special Prost shots. Mark. I'm not sure if the first two special shots kill it, but if you get Setting the special shot off first, like now they're wasting his special shot, whereas um, whereas TSM play did not. Bolt had Prost to be Agma. used there, otherwise the centaur from the mister probably would have fallen, um, or at least gotten critically damaged and be worthless for the rest of this game. Prost Jason now popping out for the mister, and we see um, TSM player throwing out the Odysseus. Um, both choices are very good. Need to get that Odysseus out, need the Jason out. I wouldn't be surprised to see the mister getting a, um, an Odysseus out with his next 200 wood and two to favor. And we can see the Odysseus just chilling over here, and we see centaurs coming around this side. Um, probably going to be looking to pick off some of these wood. I was going to see if he scouted any of this. He knows there's some wood here, so that's why he's coming around this way. Um, he can see that it's a little bit more open than over this side, and it's probably easier to get out to run away. So he's going to pick ah. off one villager here, Lege. and probably just run away because there's no reason to stay around. He's not his special shots being wasted. If he stays around, he might Prost get Agma. hit um, too much by that town center and lose some of his HP. Coming back over to um, TSM's perspective, um, the player's perspective. He's now deciding to throw up that, sto that stable right there and start getting the city con out. You can see that uh, Mister's already thrown that stable up, but he hasn't started producing any um, cavalry yet because he doesn't really need to. And he's just going to start keep running around with these centaur. Um, Maybe running them back, I guess. He sees he can't do anything at. TSM players base. As I said before, it's really, really easy to stop these raids. Um, and Lege. we can see that this is the only location which um, the Mister doesn't really have any any vision of. Um, and the Centaurs coming in, Mister picking them off before they really do anything. Really, really clever play. Um, Jason was over here preventing any units coming from him. And Prost I guess Mister cleverly uh, Sort of, Hetimos. sort of taking a Prost risk Agma. there, running back. You would have Hetimos. not really a risk because you're not going to lose Lege. anything. It's more the, start the fact you would have lost anything attacking. Like you wouldn't have attacked or you wouldn't have done anything with these centaurs. We have to see a second town center going up for the mister. So this is really smart by him. He's got centaur in a count higher than his opponent, so um, because Hetimos. of the bolt being used, um, and he's also has one villager advantage. So. To prevent any of this happening, oh, uh, uh, happens. we do see one Hippocon coming in here. Not really going to be able to do much, it's sort of scouting out, seeing Prostagma. what's going on there. Mr. turns Lege. around, wants to can't try and pick up this Hippocon with the Centaur. Um, there's no reason not to, and it looks like he may have missed it. As we see, Centaur coming in now. Here's where the micro will happen. Oh, Hetimus. and a little bit of micro popping off here, almost picking off two centaurs right there. Lege. And we see one centaur running right, away right there, and lots of really, really, really Lege. good micro here. And I think centaur missed, so if you run them back and forth when they're getting attacked, they're going to miss. Hetimus. And it looks like he's going to have to retire here, maybe even have to use C-Spy to get this town center up, because those centaurs are coming up with some more special shots. Mister now getting that special Lege. shot back on the centaur over here, and the C-Spy going down. Just make sure this settlement goes up. Really clever play, especially because now the giraffe that he couldn't get before due to the early centaur raids of the player, he can now get them now um, and continue like that. Um, see it again, Mister's not really producing Prost any cavalry. Um, and I just want to talk quickly about the effects of not building military. Prost it means, I mean, he's doing it now, but I just want, like before, he hasn't built a single Hippicon up until the nine minute mark. And what does this do? What does this do? This means you can produce more villagers. Holy shit, I can't reiterate this enough. If you don't need to build military, don't build it. You 
you can just simply build villages and get away with it. Uh, I think this is the smartest thing that anyone can do in this game is choose when to build a military. Auto queue is such a evil tool. It's evil because it makes you think like you have to have it on all the time, otherwise you are not benefiting from it. I think Mr. doing it really well, choosing to turn auto queue on at the 9 minute mark because he's got that third town center going up, he's going to have a ridiculous economy and um, there's really nothing that TSM player can do at the moment to catch back up economically and these Hibicom that he built in early which it's not going to do anything in terms of anything. Um, Mister's going to catch up militarily Prostagma. easily because he's so far ahead economically at the moment. Give it uh, two more minutes. And I just want to quickly check right now. If we pause the game, we go into post game, we look at civilian unit type. Right? You can see the Mister is already ahead. Like, what's that? It looks like it's about. Oh, I can see it here. Whatever. Uh, economy. And Forty villages already had six villages. And I say this time and time again. Um, if this game were to go on another 10 minutes or so, Mister would be ahead like 30 or 40 villages by that point. Just because he's got that advantage right now of 6, it, it, it turns into such a humongous advantage if played correctly. Yeah, Mister's got yeah, a yeah, bunch yeah. of idle villages, got a scrub, need to fix that up as soon as you can. Um, let's see what he can do with this Pretty army. We well, see gold mines. I want to just check the line of sight of Mister as well. He hasn't got sight of that back hole mine over here, but he does Prostagma. have that scouted out. We see the centaur picking, um, trying to pressure this catascopus. Means that, um, that what it tells me at least is that um, this player is paranoid about his second gold mine. I mean, he's still got 1500 gold. He wants to push off there. So you're going to see uh, Mister probably picking off one of those centaur. With that's not going to happen. Not gonna happen in slightest. And we see now Mr. coming over here wants to prevent that town center from going up. Prostagma. And he's probably gonna do it as well because TSM plays a little bit out of position now. I'm um, probably gonna lose a bunch of villages right here. And forcing the ceasefire. Had to do it for player. Else he would be ridiculously behind. Prostagma. And nothing which uh, Mr. What, what, what player could do at all to come back into this game. Um, I just want to quickly check uh, economic upgrades. Still got archaic upgrades for Mr. Archaic upgrades for um, TSM player. I've um, seen no real farmers popping out yet. And I would, I would really like to see um, Bowsaw research right now um, because it's going to allow um, Mr. to get a bunch of farms out. You can see TSM player. Uh, he's got a lot of walking time right here as well. That's if we look at the time, we see one of these villagers walking to the storehouse and back. Uh, we see that's probably about two seconds walking distance there, and then two seconds back, so four seconds in total. Means he's losing out on four seconds of gathering time. That's probably about maybe five wood a trip. Like, that's a lot when you think about it. When they do that trip every like 15 seconds or 10 seconds or whatever it is. Um, uh, it turns into just a ridiculous And it looks like a little centaur by TSM player going to be a little bit annoying. Yeah, yeah. Probably not going to do anything because he's such a low HP. Um, Mr. now getting that ridiculous 1-1-1 one, one, one composition of Hop White and Hibicon and Dr. Toes in, into, um, into being. He's got one of each building, that's why it's all 1-1-1. One, one, one. And... Um, yeah, he's actually sitting at 144, 140, 145, 145 population, whereas TSM player is at only 100. And that's what I mean. When I was talking about this before, where he wasn't building military, it meant he could build economy, and then it transitioned so well. I mean, it's just five, literally, it was just five Pivicon he didn't build, which TSM player did. And it set him so far in front that there's literally nothing which player could have done to catch up at that point. Um, like it simply was a decision which um, Mister did. It wasn't that he played any better than, than um, TSM player at this point. It was simply a decision. So we see um, Mister now wanting to put some pressure on. He's going to attempt to raid this location because he knows uh, the wood villages are still there, and you can see them now. 
Um, and he might even be going for that town center in the middle. If he can, if he can get in there, it'd be really good. And a little bit of micro now going to have to go on. We've got to focus this centaur on enemy centaur because they do have a little bit of a bonus against myth units. Um, and the more centaur you pick off, the more um, damage your units can do. Um, and now this is in a really nice position here. In a really nice tight position. So there's not really anything TSM play can do to come and surround. Uh, so he'll have that surface area because he's got, unless it's a full surround. If it's not, then. Um, he's just got that surface area to deal with it. And again, just microing those centaur around, dodging what he can, doing the damage that he can everywhere. Bolt going down that Odysseus. Odysseus is getting picked off with those toxic toes right now, so even in terms of heroes. And it looks like Minister is just barreling down in the gates of, uh, of TSM player. Probably going to run at that gold mine now. Prevent any gold in coming. We can see probably on TSM. Actually, no, he's got 600 gold in the bank. So this is only going to really affect him later in the game. But losing your home gold mine and pressure that um, Mister is exerting is pretty much too much. Also, the Centaur is on this location picking up villagers, TSM player. Really, really, really well played by, by uh, Mr. and the GG by TSM player comes out right there. Now, again, I just want to reiterate what happened in this game. It was as simple as TSM player building five Hippicon and Mr. not. You, just, you need to know when you should build um, military and when you can't. Um, and again, it's I should say I say it right now. Five Hippicon, it's nothing. It sounds like nothing, but it's in, in actuality it's it's everything. It and, um, it's why it's why Mr. Gordon hit out of this game, and it's why he, he could um, deal with it. But don't get me wrong. It's not like you should never build those five Hippicon ever, because like it could be really good. Like you could build five Hippicon, and you could go kill like ten villages, and that's awesome. But, if you don't, if you can't get that happening, and you don't see it happening ever, and you see walls, you see a really, really nicely defended, builded, uh, nicely defended base, you don't do it. You just don't build those things. You need to get nicely defended yourself, so you can't fall prey to that, and you need to do the same thing as Mr. did this game. So, really well played, 1-0 for Mr. And let's jump into game number two.